wondering why this drone is not flying properly? It's because we have deactivated all the sensors on the drone. Today, we're going to find out why exactly do we need sensors on our drone. Hi, I'm Prasanna. And I'm Apoorva. And we are from Drona Aviation. <laughs> Prasanna, why does a drone require sensors? Mm -hmm. In fact, why does anything require a sensor? What do sensors really do? Patience. So basically, there are three kinds of systems. Stable, unstable, and a neutrally stable system. All the systems around you fall under one of these categories. When you disturb a system and it comes back to its original position automatically, it's called a stable system. But when you disturb a system and it does not come back to its original position, it's called an unstable system. And when you disturb a system and it does not come back to its original position, but achieves a new stable position, it's called a neutrally stable system. Okay, I, I understand about the stability of systems, but what does it have to do with drones? Like I said before, each system comes under one of those three categories, even a drone. When a drone falls, the original angle does not change. So even if the system is disturbed, it does not return to its original angle. It just settles at a new angle. Thus, a drone is a neutrally stable system. And uh, such a system would not be able to fly properly, right? Precisely. While flying, a drone experiences numerous external factors like wind, propeller imbalance, etc. And we wouldn't want the drone to be affected by it. So we use sensors to prevent this from happening. So do the sensors control the drone directly? No, not by themselves. Let's take an example to understand this. Imagine a drone hovering like this. The sensors are continuously monitoring data, which eventually helps us estimate the drone's current angle. Now, for some reason, let's say that the drone gets tilted a bit. The sensors will register this new angle and the drone will come to know that it has tilted. The control system of the drone will compensate for this tilt and get the drone back to its original angle. Right, right, right. The closed loop system. Didn't we study about it? We all did. Sensors provide the feedback and this feedback is used to improve the output of the system. The easiest example of that would be an air conditioner. Say you set the temperature of your AC to 20 degrees centigrade. The sensor in the AC will continuously monitor the temperature and try to keep it at 20 degrees centigrade. When the temperature goes below 20, the AC will heat it up a bit. When the temperature goes above 20, the AC will cool it down a bit. In absence of a sensor, the AC just wouldn't know what to do. And that is the importance of a sensor. We hope you learned something new from this video. Hit like if you guys think that we have earned it. Also, let us know your comments in the section below. Also, share this video with other drone enthusiasts so that we can build a community together. Please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss out on our future videos. Thanks for watching. Thank you.